Hey everyone, welcome back to another Lead Code Daily Problem Solution video. Today we are going to solve the problem number of provinces. So before reading the description, I'll just uh, go into this example and uh, share what's written in this description. So it says that you will be given a matrix, given a matrix that matrix will be n into n matrix and each, uh, each cell of the matrix will contain either 1 or 0. So uh, this will be containing in the matrix. Let me draw the matrix. So we are first uh, checking for the first example, which is example one. And we have drawn the matrix here. And it says that the matrix is n by n. So uh, for this case, uh, yeah, it will be 0, 1, and 2. The index that's uh, shown here are uh, like from 1, 2, 3. So uh, we will be showing here for uh, understanding perspective, we will be showing 1, 2, 3 and this direction also 1, 2, 3. So this is a matrix and uh, this is how the graph relations are shown. So in the data it is shown that it is 1, 1, 0, then 1, 1, 0, then 0, 0, 1. So what this data actually shows is that uh, these are the nodes, these are the nodes. So there are 1 node, 2 node and there are node number 3. Okay, So there are 3 nodes what happens is 1 is connected with 1. So here in the matrix cell 1 means connected and 0 means not connected. So 1 is connected with 1. So it is shown there that 1 is connected with 1. Then for 1 and 2 we see 1. The cell value is 1. So 1 is also connected with 1 is connected with 2. And as it is not a uh, directional matrix, it is an undirected, un undirected graph. So as 1 and 2 are 1, then 2 and 1 is also 1. So 2 and 1 is also connected. But 1 and 3, 1 and 3 is not connected. So 1 and 3 is not connected. Then for 2, we can see the same. We can see 2 and 3 are not connected. Then for 3, we can see the same. 3 uh, is not connected with anyone. 3 is connected with itself. Now, what this problem says is that we need to return the total number of provinces. So what is a province in this example, in this case, in this problem, uh, we can see that the province is uh, when two cities are connected, two cities are connected, this can be identified as a province and this one itself is a province. So how many provinces do, did we have? We have this one as one and this one has the second. So total number of provinces are total number of provinces are two total total equal two provinces two provinces in this graph but what about this one what about this example in this example two we can see none of them are connected so each individual node is a province one two three that's why we have this answer here now let's think about how we can solve this uh, as if you seen the previous solutions or previous problems you can think this type of graph problem you can reduce them to dfs bfs or you can also consider union find so when there are like provinces there are problems like provinces or there are island problem where some of the groups need to connect themselves and we need to identify the disjoint sets or disjoint groups you can see from here that we are actually identifying the groups, disjoint groups. So in this case, in this case, when we are identifying disjoint groups or isolated island, island. Okay. So disjoint groups or island. In these cases, we will consider DFS and mostly, mostly we will consider, we will try using union find, union find. So I'm going to solve. Uh, this problem with two methods one is union find and another is dfs so let's first consider the union find method so how we can solve this problem using union find so you can see from my previous videos that uh, you when we are considering union find we will first mark each node we will first mark each node each node and we will have a parent array parent of i parent of i equal i at first each parent each one will con each one will point to itself okay and we should keep another another array that will contain the rank so what is the rank initially all of them has rank one now what we will do is we will 
actually traverse this matrix and you can see that a matrix traversal takes any square time so for each row and column we will uh, iterate we don't check for one and one because they are the same then we are checking for one and two so we can see they are connected so what we will do we, we will call uh, as they are connected we will call our make union and we will pass in one and two we will first find the parent so the parent of one is find one find we will call another method to calculate the parent which is find one and then another method for parent two we will find two so let's just check in what our find method is uh, looks like so our find method looks like find of x looks like this that we will uh, iterate while x not equal parent of x it is not equal parent itself itself is a parent we will actually parent of x we will just do a efficient task we will uh, add the parent to its grandparent grandparent which is the parent of parent of x so we will add this uh, i will describe this later if you don't understand then we will add x equal parent of x okay i will discuss uh, this lot more clearly in the code so this is how the while loop will while loop will uh, it, uh, iterate evaluate and then wh when the loop breaks we will return the x so this is how our find method uh, happens so uh, this is how our find method is processing and uh, calculating or finding the parent so find parent is the find parent method now when we call in find one we see that one is the parent of itself so it will return the parent of one is one and when we call find two we can see that two's parent is itself so it will return two yep. now what our make union now what should we do the parents are different so there are two cases case one when case one when the parents are equal when parent 1 is equal to parent 2 in this case we will not do anything and we will just return 0 okay because uh, if their parents are equal they are already in a union right then case 2 so in case 2 the parents are not equal as we are seeing here that the parents are not equal one and two are not equal so what we will consider is the ranks consider ranks consider ranks so what will happen here rank of parent of one can be greater than rank of parent of two so if someone has if some node let's say this node has more rank then what will happen if someone has more rank then we will add if this case, case is happening that a parent of one has more rank than two then we will do is we will actually parent of parent of parent of two equal parent of one what we are doing here i'll just describe just let me write it down then rank of parent of one plus equal rank of yeah let me just describe it what i've written here so let's suppose let's let me just draw an example let's say we have this example okay so in this example we can see that this is the parent node and uh, this this is a group where three's parent is one four's parent is one and five's parent are one and in here there's another group where two is the parent and six is the children six parent is two seventh parent is two so uh, in this case we will see that the parent of three will be one parent of four will be one parent of five will be one when we look for their parent and in this case in this graph we will see parent of six will be two parent of seven will be node 2 now what are the ranks what are the ranks rank of this one node 1 will be what will be the rank its rank was 1 now how many are connected to it itself is also connected itself is also connected to it 1 is also connected to 1 so how many nodes are connected 1 2 3 so how many rank it will happen it, it will have 4 rank equal 4 and what about this one 
what will be its rank it rank will be rank of 2 node 2 will be it itself is connected to itself so its node its uh, rank will be rank will be how many 1 2 3 so its rank will be 3 so now when we are seeing that 2 and 1 they are connected when we are considering that 2 and 1 one need to be connected now which one is the which one gets to be the parent of which one which one gets to be the parent of which one the question arises so how we will check we will check according to the parent as node 1 has more rank node 1 has more rank then it's more suitable for node 1 to be parent of 2 right so let me just rewrite this redraw this uh, here so I'm just redrawing now what will happen I will just mark this and this will be the parent of node 2 right so this will be the parent of node 2 now what we need to do we need to update we need to update this rank right so what will be this rank this rank will be 4 plus the rank of 2 that got add, added to it so rank of 2 is 3 so it's total rank will be 7 you can see from here that how many nodes are connected to it how many nodes are connected to it now 1 2 3 4 5 6 and itself 7 so 7 nodes are totally connected and uh, marking it as the their parent so that's why we are increasing the rank that's why you can see that we are doing what the the guy that has the node that has less rank we are moving we are doing parent of that less ranked node to its parent so what we are doing here is we are actually writing we are actually writing we are actually writing parent of so initially parent of 2 was 2 it was in initially it was in initially it was 2 now we are just modifying it we are modifying this we are modifying and we are adding parent of 2 equal 1 because now we have a new parent parent of 2 has a new parent and that's why it's actually marking to itself and that's how it's going but what happens if what happens if our rank parent of 1 was less than or equal rank of parent of 2 less than or equal this can happen so what will happen is the who, who has less who has less this one has less so we will mark its parent its parent to the higher one okay so less one gets the parent parent 2 and the higher one who has the max who has more greater parent, greater rank we will just update its rank rank of parent of 2 plus equal rank of the lower one we, who is lower here parent one so parent one's rank so this is how this happens this is how this can be solved so this is pretty much how our union find will work and what we will do is when the parents are equal we are we already have them in an union when they are not we don't have them in an union we will just return one we are ma we made a new union so we will just return one so this is how our alg algorithm will work and this is how these two are added in a group and uh, totally we can see there will be two groups uh, i'll just describe them in a co in my code and now uh, yeah i've discussed the uh, union find approach now how can we solve this in the dfs approach so in the dfs approach it's kind of like we we will start from each node we will start from each node it's pretty much like the same we'll start from each node and we will actually look for the connected as we iterate so from here we will go to each of the node each of the node and see how many nodes are actually connected in one go so when in one go we will look for each of the nodes and we see that two is connected and yeah this is connected so we will increase our count and we will actually mark these two mark these two one and two these two as 
visited we will mark this as visited right so we will mark this as visited so when in the second time when we actually try to iterate again we will not iterate for it so this way using the dfs approach when i sh show you the code you, you will be clear in the dfs approach you can see that we can actually mark the mark the provinces so when at first we are iterating we will mark all of the nodes that are connected to one node and we will mark them as visited then secondly we, will tra we are traversing for two we see that one is al already marked two is already marked so we will not consider and then we will consider for three so how many we have we have totally two that's how we will work for dfs so let's go to code and understand how our union find works and how our uh, dfs works so here's the union find approach so in the union find we actually have a parent array and a rank array so for we have as it is n into n so we take the n and mark uh, the initialize the arrays then for each node each node we actually initialize the parent the parent of i will be parent of i uh, yeah uh, it is zero we are considering here zero but in the example we are shown we have shown one two three from one and then there's a rank we initialize every rank to one then uh, we have this result array where this is the groups results or this is the groups we can mark it as groups so how many groups are there so uh, if before uh, initially it was uh, n type n number of groups now we are just iterating and so initially there were uh, groups n groups now we are iterating for each of the nodes and we are iterating for all of the nodes and we see if this is connected if i and j are connected if they are connected then we will union them we will union them i and j and then when they are union if they are already in union then we don't disc uh, we don't yeah subtract the union we don't just reduce an uh, a group right so if they are we are adding an union then our group initially it was n but we are uh, we have reduced one group so that's why uh, our group counts are decreasing and finally how many groups we have we have some number of groups you can see the union find uh, here that we have n1 and n2 we are getting the parent of 1 and parent of 2 if they are equal both are equal then we are returning 0 if the rank rank of rank of p1 is greater than then we are actually considering the lowest parent lowest parent to be the highest parent and the highest rank will increase highest rank is increasing increase the rank up to lower ranked node yeah we are uh, yeah change the parent of lower rank and uh, yeah that's how it's going and for else case this is the same yeah and you see the find approach where we are considering parent of x not equal x and we are actually doing the optimization yeah we are optimizing the parent of uh, parent so you can uh, let uh, you can see from here that parent of x is the parent of x let's go to the code and see so you can see from this example that when we are considering for 2 and 1 we are going to see parent of 6 is not equal x or something 6 x not equal x so we have initially for 6 we are checking that 6 is not equal 6 is parent 6 is what is 6 is parent 2 2 is not equal 6 so what will happen we will do parent of 6 equal parent of parent of 6 so what it does for this example is that parent of 6 now becomes parent of 6 initially it was 2 now what will happen parent of 6 will what will it will be 2 so we will equal parent of 2 so what is who is parent of 2 uh, from here we can see parent of 2 is 1 so this is 1 so the parent of 6 will update and it will become one this is the optimization we are doing in that function this is what we we are doing in this function right so now uh, this will execute properly and we can solve this in the union find method union find way so we can see that this is really fast 52 percent so let's go to the yeah this. if you are wondering how why we are actually negating or decrementing the 
uh, groups count in our union find we can see that initially we have marked like uh, one two three we have added three groups but when we union one and two we have one less group that why when we are doing every union we are doing every union unique union every new union we decrease one okay that's why the uh, groups that initially was we that was decremented now here we are discussing the dfs approach so in the dfs approach we have the n is the length of the is connected error matrix and then we have the visited and visited and for each of the uh, row each of row each row we are checking if this uh, row or in uh, this node was uh, visited if not then we are uh, iterating the dfs then uh, in the dfs we are passing the uh, visited array and the row and we are actually calculating the uh, groups so when we are actually checking for that nodes connections we see for each of the connections if they have connections like for if j has connections if they have connection i and j have connection and j the node that we are checking is not visited not visited then uh, then we will mark it as visited and we will also iterate dfs inside of it inside of for that connection as well for that node as well that's how the dfs approach is working and the dfs uh, method is very fast so this is how it's working so in the dfs approach we are first checking for row one then who has connections with row one the uh, connection with row one is uh, row uh, this one so we are marking it as visited visited of visited to to be true that's how the code is working then visited of one is true then we are also checking for two's connections how many connections or how many things are there that's how this is working let's me let me describe an uh, easy example so uh, suppose we have this example when we are iterating for dfs at first none of them are visited let me just mark the visited as v in white if they, they are not visited they are like colored here uh, so when we are checking for this node yeah for this node this is not visited and we are checking for its neighbor that uh, neighbor is two uh, first we are checking for it and uh, we see that this is not visited if this is not visited then we will mark it as visited we will mark it as visited and then we will look for its uh, connections who are the connections this one is the connections this one is the only connection to him so we will uh, move to two and we will consider it it here now when we are in two we see that who are connected with two we can see uh, is two visited or not two is not visited so we will at first we will first mark it as visited we will first mark it as visited then we will consider its connections so this is a connection this is a connection and this is a connection and we will go and uh, do dfs on them we will dfs on them and for dfs then we look for this one this is not connected so we will actually do this then we will actually do this then we will actually do this so what happened here we first started from here from here we first started from here and from here starting from here we marked all of these nodes all of these nodes we actually marked all of these nodes we marked all of these nodes using this we have iterated and we have counted our groups plus plus we have uh, made our groups to only one we have just increased our group count to only one then then we will keep iterating iterating we will check for two that two is visited we will not check then we will look for three three is visited we will not check we will look for four four is visited not check then five five is visited not check then we will start on here for six six is not visited so we will mark six as visited then we will go to its connections this is a connection and this is a connection so what we will do then we will move to here uh, using the dfs call then this will get marked and this will get marked so in one call we are marking all of them and after that call we are increasing our groups so our groups count groups count is increasing plus plus so groups count now becomes two so how many groups do we have here oh yeah before that uh, then we are iterating for six then using the iteration loop we will look for seven but seven is already visited then eight eight is already visited then the loop breaks and finally we have count two 
right so this is how this happens so i think you uh, understood how union find and dfs plays a role in this problem solution so if this uh, video was helpful please like and subscribe thank you